Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Special thank you to our partner, AE Juice. Check out their Liquid Elements Pack. Over a thousand frame by frame animations for your projects. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin. Basically, it is a huge asset library on demand. Press a shortcut to open the plugin, drag and drop, and you're done. This is one of those investments that last your lifetime. The links are in the description, all links are affiliated. So if you purchase something from AE Juice, we will get a commission. It will help us to produce more tutorials, and sustain our community. If you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can purchase this template from the link in the description. It will also help me to support this channel. So, let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Sicordio Visualizer. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, with a frame rate of 30, and my duration is 30 seconds. But you should use the exact length of your song. The first step is to import your audio, logo, and the background into the project. You can download them from the link in the description. Grab the audio file, and place it onto the timeline. If you press L double time, you can see the waveform of your audio. We just need to convert them into the keyframe. So right click on your audio layer, go to the keyframe assistant. And choose to convert audio to keyframe. It will create this null object, with the keyframes of your audio layer. Press U to open keyframes, and then, I am going to delete the left channel, and right channel keyframes. We will only use both channels. Cool. Let's start the magic. Let's minimize this audio layer to get some room. Now grab the background layer, and place it onto the timeline. Open scale. And here we are going to add an expression on this scale. For adding an expression, press and hold the Alt key on Windows, and Option key on Mac. Then click on this stopwatch icon. After clicking on the stopwatch icon, you will find these four icons. Simply grab this one, and place it on the slider. Click anywhere on the screen, to eject from the expression box. If you check this, you can see, it is reacting on the music, but the size has been changed. It is because this expression is changing the overall scale value of this background. Let's try to fix it. Click on this expression box, and in the end, we are going to add one more expression. Simply type plus, square bracket, 100, comma 100, square bracket close. It means the minimum scale value will be 100%, and it won't go below that. Ram preview this, and see if you like it. Cool, looks better now. But I think it is shaking too much and we don't need that much amount. So let's add one more expression. Again click on the expression box. Go to the end of the first line of the expression. Make sure you are right before the semicolon. Here type slash, 7. It means, it will divide the overall shaking value, by 7 times. Now it will look much better. Let's move to the next step. Grab your logo file, and place it onto the timeline. Open scale, and adjust the scale value according to your need. Now right click on your logo layer, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo comp. 
click on move all attributes into the new composition, again open scale, press and hold the alt key, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the audio amplitude slider. It will start reacting with the music, but the size will be changed. Again add the same expression at the end. Simply type, plus, square bracket. 100, comma 100. Square bracket close. The logo is also shaking too much, so I am going to add slash 4, before this semicolon. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Cool, this looks good to me. Let's add some shadow to it, select this logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call it logo shadow. And then press R, to open rotation. Now we need to rotate it on the X axis, but this layer is 2D. So we need to make it 3D, by using switches. If your switch tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is waiting for the exam to be finished, then right click here, go to the columns, and select switches, as well as modes. Because we are going to need this. Now click here to make your layer 3D. And then change the X rotation value to 90 degrees. Use the shift plus down arrow key, and place it here. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the compound blur. Apply it onto the layer, and then select the blur layer to the background layer, and increase the maximum blur value to 1499. Cool. Adjust the opacity of it. I am using the opacity value of 50%. Cool. It's time to add some particles. Let's minimize all layers, except the audio amplitude. Now create a new solid layer, and I am calling it particles. I am choosing this color for it, you are free to choose any color you want. Now go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the CC snowfall. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the size value to 15. And change the flakes value to 100. Now uncheck this composite with the original. And then change the variation percentage to 100. And change the scene depth value to 10,000. Also, change the spread value to 90, and change the opacity value to 75%. Now we are going to add an expression on speed, simply press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon. Go to the timeline, and grab this pick whip, and connect it with audio amplitude slider. It will start reacting with the audio. But the speed value is increasing in a very small amount, and we cannot even notice it. So click on this expression, and at the end, add star 30. It means we are multiplying the value by 30 times. Cool. Let's add the same expression on this wind as well. Again hold the ALT key, and click on the stopwatch icon. Grab this pick whip, and connect it with audio amplitude slider. Again click on the expression box, and add star 50, at the end of the expression. It means we are going to multiply the result by 50 times. Ram preview this. And yes this is looking much better now. If you want to change the direction of these particles, simply right click on this layer, go to the transform, and select flip vertical. Now the direction of the particle will be bottom to top. You can easily change the color of these particles, by changing the solid setting, and then change the color from it. Let's keep it gray for now. Cool, it's time for the next step. Select all layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it elements. And then hit OK. Now make two more duplicates of it. We will use these layers for the RGB split effect. So let's rename all three layers, for the individual channel. As you may know, red, 
green, and blue, are the only color channels, so we will apply individual color channels on all three layers. Always rename your layers, so that you can find them later easily. Now select all layers, then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the set channel. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, select the elements red, go to the effects control tab. Here, keep the red channel to red. And change other two channels off. Select the blue, and keep the blue on. And turn off the green, and red channel. Now select the green layer, keep the green on, and turn off the red and blue channel. Now select all the layers, and change their mode to screen. And it will show in the original color. Now create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it Lens. Again go to the effects and presets, and search for the CC lens. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, change the size value to 140. And here we will use the convergence, for the expression part. But here is a problem. We are not able to see the audio amplitude layer, because it is right inside this elements layer, if we open, any of these element comps. We will get the audio amplitude, but now the CC lens effect control tab is gone. So here is a quick solution. Grab this elements comp from here, and place it right below the composition window. This window will attach here. Now if you select this lens layer, the CC lens effect will be visible now. Simply press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then grab this pick whip, and connect it with the audio amplitude slider. And it will also going to react with the music. For creating an RGB split effect, select the elements red, and open its position. Now add an expression on this position as well. Again grab this pick whip, and connect it with the audio amplitude slider. Now we just need to type one more expression so that it won't go outside of the frame. At the end of this expression, just type plus, square bracket, 960, comma 540, square bracket close. This is the default value of the position layer. It means the position of this layer will start from this point. Also, I am going to add slash 10, before the semicolon. Just dividing the value by 10. You can close this element comp now. Ram preview this and see if you like it. Cool. This looks good to me, but the sound is out of level. So make sure to mute these two layers, and keep the audio on for the bottom layer only. Also, I am going to change the slash 10, by slash 8, so that the RGB split looks better. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.